you know how people always do the very like seductive looks i want to just be like i don't think that would get a lot of views though <laughs> to you happy Wednesday welcome back to my channel my name is Anissa if you are new here and today I am going to be doing a very exciting video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial which I haven't done in a couple months but I am even more excited because I'm going to be testing the new products from makeup by Mario that I just got in the mail yesterday so the two things that I got were the new eyeshadow palette that he released that looks like this. It is so gorgeous. I have actually heard mixed reviews on this palette, so I'm very interested to see how it actually works. And then the other product I got is the Master Pigment Pro Pencil in Super Black. So this is just like an eyeliner. And the reason I really liked it was because it has an eyeliner on one side, and then the other side is actually a little brush to kind of like fluff it out, air it out, fan it out. What am I trying to say? But basically what this does is it can kind of diffuse the product on your eye. I am all about a soft, smoky kind of look when it comes to my eye makeup. So as soon as I saw that, I knew that it was something that I really wanted to try. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. The first product I'm gonna use this morning is a primer. I've already washed and cleansed my face. I have a vitamin C serum on my skin to help brighten the skin, and I already have my moisturizer and SPF on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a primer on my skin. Now this is the first light primer from Becca Cosmetics. One of my all-time favorites. I definitely use this a lot for bridal. I just think it's so pretty. It adds such a beautiful sheen kind of glow to the skin and you definitely don't need too much because a little goes a long way. Because I'm doing my own makeup, I'm going to go ahead and just apply it with my hands so that the product gets nice and warm and I can really penetrate that into my skin. I always love starting with my eye makeup first, so I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eye primer. I usually just take a little bit on the back of my hand like this and then take whatever kind of brush and apply it that way. I am a huge fan of matte neutral shades, which is why I was inclined to purchase this product, but I'm going to be dipping into the Master Matte's eyeshadow palette to create a look this morning. Okay, so they're numbered, which kind of makes it pretty easy. All you have to do is count, so it shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take shade number four, matte four, which is this one in the corner up here. And I'm gonna start by using that as my transition shade. Okay, so dipping into it, I can see there really is not a lot of fallout, which is really good. But the reviews actually that I've heard is that it does not blend well. So I'm really interested to see, I'm like kind of scared, <laughs> but I'm interested to to see how this is going to apply. It feels like it looks and feels kind of like creamy. I don't know if that's the right word, but the fallout is really good because it doesn't have a lot. I'm going to go ahead and start by applying this in my crease, like I said, as my transition shade. Okay, it's not terrible. I can see a little bit of color. The color is very like skin toned, so I'm not going to freak out that I don't see like a ton because I also am not really going for that look. I'm going to dip into it again, do the same thing. Yeah, I think this color payoff is perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and start to kind of just push that color up so I can really get it all over my crease. Okay, so I would say first color, that's actually looking really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then we're gonna move on to adding another shade on this eye. Before I go in and darken up this eye look, I'm gonna dip into matte number three, which is this more, even more skin toned color right here. So I'm taking the same brush, I just kind of wiped off any excess that I had. I'm gonna take the same brush and just dip into it a tiny bit at the top of the brush here so that I have a little bit on the very, very tip Tap that off a little bit and I'm gonna actually take it right underneath my brow bone. I'm gonna help diffuse that first color. 
It wasn't hard to blend at all in my opinion. I really didn't find that issue, but I do like to just do this so that everything is very seamless and nice and blended together. Next up, I am going to take matte number seven, which is this color right here. I'm dipping in with a Morphe M573 brush, one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow blending brushes. And I'm gonna give you a close-up look of what this pigment looks like on this brush because the bristles are white. So you can see the color payoff is actually pretty good. And like I said, there's also not a lot of fallout, which is even better. I'm gonna go ahead and just tap this on the side and I'm going to begin applying this in my outer crease. Yeah, this is actually so beautiful. The way it applies, I should say. I mean, the color is very pretty too, but the way it applies is so nice. And it actually held up a lot of the pigment on the brush even after tapping off, which I really like because then I don't feel like I'm wasting a ton of product. Sometimes when you dip into eyeshadow and then you do that, you feel like all of it kind of flies off, which is stupid. So that definitely did not happen. So I'm basically just gonna keep blending this in here and taking it a little bit towards the center of the lid. Very, very light, soft hand while doing this. Okay, and I'm gonna darken things up once more by using the shade matte number 11, and that is this dark brown right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this on, this is a Jessup 228 Luxe Crease, crease Brush, and again, it has some white bristles. I actually got these brushes off of Amazon for I wanna say less than $10, and they're very good. I will find them and link them in the description box. So what I'm gonna do here is just take a super duper duper small amount right on the tip of the brush once again, dusting that off by tapping on the back. And I'm just going to focus that right on the upper lash line. And I'm gonna kind of drag that inwards just a bit so that when I go in with the black eyeliner in a second, it's very seamlessly blended together. Okay, so the type of brush I was using for that I don't think was the best choice. So I'm going in with a smaller little precision brush like this one and picking up some color pigment on one side of that and applying it in the same area. That really didn't blend super well, but I do think the brush had a lot to do with it. So we're gonna try this. I'm gonna go back in with that second brush that I used, go over top and just blend that out. Okay, so that one actually didn't blend as perfectly as I was hoping that it would, but it totally could be my brushes. So that's also something to keep in mind too when you're testing a new product, you wanna make sure that you're using the right tools to apply it. So here on this side, I'm just taking that second brush that I used to see if I can notice any big difference here. And again, just kind of focusing it on the upper lash line and blending it out. And then taking that second brush and just buffering it in. So this is what the shadows look like. I actually am pretty impressed. Um, the only issue that I found was just blending that dark shadow. But again, like I said, it could have been the brushes I was using to apply it. For the final step, I'm gonna go into matte number one with another fluffy brush like so, lightly dipping that in and placing this on the inner corner of the eye. Okay, now time for the fun part. I'm gonna be going in with the eyeliner pencil, the Master Pigment Pro, and again, this is in the shade black. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with this side right here along the lash line and I'm gonna drag it out just a little bit and then I'm gonna flip the brush and use the brush side of it to blend it out. <laughs> I really just threw that brush all the way over there. Taking the brush. Okay, so it dries pretty quickly. <laughs> I kind of wish it was a little bit more creamier, especially 
because this product has a brush on the other end specifically to manipulate and work that product on your eye. Um, it doesn't give you a whole lot of time to really do that, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, for this eye, I kind of tried working in smaller sections, so I focused on the outer corner, and then I blended, and then I kind of dragged it in a little bit. That was a little bit easier, but again, still dries very, very quickly and is a little bit difficult to manipulate the product, so something to keep in mind. And now I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of mascara. Okay, to fill in my brows, I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. I love how small and easy this pencil is to use. I actually got it for free with an Ulta purchase, I believe, um, a couple weeks ago. Next up, I'm going in with a new foundation, which is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care. It is a water light medium coverage, which I really, really like because as you guys know, I am focusing a lot more on my skin nowadays. So I love anything lightweight with a watery kind of feel because it doesn't feel too heavy on my skin. So I'm gonna be applying it with a beauty blender and I'm gonna take some and just pop it right on there and apply to my skin. For concealer, I'm going to add just a couple dots of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. I've also gotten a lot better with my concealer application over the years because your girl used to just layer it on. <laughs> but now I'm like, okay, a couple dots and that's it. Like even this probably was too much. But I'm going to drag it down so that I can help brighten up my face. And it's also a little bit light. But that's okay. So I popped a little bit of the foundation onto the tip of the beauty blender. Again, this is just a quick fix if that is to happen to you so that it's not too light underneath the eye. Before we set the concealer underneath our eyes, I'm going to go in and contour. Now this is something completely new that I've been doing, but I cannot do it any differently now. So it's been an amazing new step in my routine. I bronze with a cream bronzer and then sometimes I'll go back in and set it with a powder bronzer but for the most part all my bronzing is done now with a cream bronzer and my cream bronzer of choice as of late is the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer and I use the shade number four which is called Honey Glaze and I apply it with a duo fiber brush that looks like this. It's just such a good application. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of swirl this around here where I have just enough product on the brush and then we are going to apply. And you'll notice just what a soft, gentle contour that gives us. It's not too much and it's not a powder so it's not gonna clog your pores. Amazing. This product is seriously so beautiful on the skin. And it's funny because when I first got this and started using it, I wasn't the biggest fan. And the reason I don't think I liked it was because the tool I was using was the wrong tool. I was not using this type of brush. I think I was, to be honest, I think I was using this one, um, which the bristles are very, very different. But using a duo fiber brush just really, really changed up my liking of the product because it went on so much better. And then I'll take a little bit, of course, on my forehead. I was about to say my eyebrow and I was like, no, that's not what it's called. I j oh my God, I love how that looks. I just love it. Oh my God. Okay, and guess what? We are going to do the same type of product for blush. So for blush, I'm gonna be taking the NARS Cream Blush. I'm sorry, the NARS Liquid Blush in the shade Orgasm. Amazing. Now this is a very interesting and, I'm just gonna say interesting. It's a very interesting product to learn how to use because at first I was like, oh, it's pretty small, which I was like, okay, like am I really getting my money's worth? 100%. And the reason is, is because you need the smallest amount of this product on your skin. Like I'm not kidding you, one drop, that's plenty. It might even be too much. So I take this product and I pump it on the back of my hand, literally one drop. I start with that and then because you can build up if you really need to. But I'm going to start with this 
and it's on the back of my hand. So what I'm going to do is I pat it around with my brush on the back of my hand to start manipulating that product, warming it up so that it goes onto our skin better. Now that I have that on the brush, we apply. I work pretty quickly with this because it does, it can dry because it's a liquid obviously. So you just need to be mindful of how long it's taking you. Right. I am not kidding when I say I am absolutely obsessed with this type of makeup application and using these products. It's just, it's really a game changer. And because I struggled with so many breakouts and whatnot with my skin when I was using powder products, if you have not tried cream products, I highly, highly, highly recommend it because it is so pretty on the skin and it will be so much better for your pores. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with my under eye here and just make sure that I didn't crease too much. And if I did, I'm gonna lightly blend that out with my beauty blender because remember we haven't set this under eye yet. And the reason I didn't set the under eye immediately like I typically do is because when I apply cream products, it's a hot mess. And I did this a couple times as I was learning how to use and manipulate these cream products. But if I set the under eye, unless I literally take a brush and just only do the very inner corner, the cream products don't blend the way that they should because you're putting cream on top of powder, which don't ever do that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my setting powder and I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, applying some of that onto into the cap here, taking the beauty blender and a very small amount is all that you need. I've also learned that I used to use way too much of this product as well. <laughs> Just a little tiny bit and I'm gonna focus it right underneath the eye. I'm going to take a little bit of this powder contour bronzer, whatever you want to call it, just to set where we placed the first contour with our cream products. So literally just taking it so lightly because again, the whole point of using a cream product is so that you don't have to use powder, right? But in this case, you're not like adding any more. You're really just like setting the initial product that you applied. And this product is also Fenty but this is just the powder version of that bronzer, which is called Private Island. That's what I like to use. So I use Honey Glaze for the cream bronzer, and then I use Private Island just to set. The final few steps here, I am going to place some color on my under eye, because you know I don't like to leave that there. So I'm going back in with the Makeup by Mario palette. If I could find a brush to use, that would be great. I'm gonna dip back into this palette and I'm taking the Morphe M321 brush, which is a very teeny little brush that looks like that. And I'm going to dip into, let's see, I'm gonna dip into matte four, which is the very first transition shade that we used. First color, and then I'm gonna go in with seven, which is the second one that I used. Same place. Sliding that underneath just to give us a little bit of color. This pigment is amazing. I don't know how people are not liking this. I mean, I've only used it once, but it's good. And then I'm gonna add some mascara to the bottom. Now, one of my favorite parts, we are going to add some setting spray to the skin. And I'm gonna be going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just all over. Next, I'm going in with some highlight and I'm gonna be using the Dior highlighting palette. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And what I like to do actually is just kind of go all over, you know, there's no rules. And then we're going to swipe. I love this highlighter because it is so subtle, but yet so gorgeous. Mm, love it. And for lips, I'm going to be using a little bit of Rum Punch from Tarte. All right, guys, that is it for this video. That is it for this video. I hope that you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified whenever I put out new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.